In Kemba's case, again, for everybody who watched it, he ran head into, uh, head down into Shemi. Um, when he landed, he uh, basically had numbness and tingling in his hands. And you can imagine that kind of <clears throat> gave him a little bit of a shock. He was kind of freaked out by the, the whole thing a little bit and just uh, needed a couple of seconds to collect himself. There, he never lost consciousness. Um, and uh, he, he uh, basically stayed on the floor, mostly as a medical precaution. The medical team was out there immediately. Um, because of the mechanism and because he had numbness and tingling in his hands, uh, they took full spine precautions, which is what everybody saw play out on TV. It means they had to put him on a, the spine board, they had to collar him, they had to, and then they had to bring him basically first to the back of the uh, Pepsi Center, where he had an initial x-ray done to make sure that at least everything looked pretty good, and it did, it was a negative x-ray. And then he was brought to a level one trauma center where he received a full neurologic evaluation. Um, a full set of x-rays were done. That was followed up by an MRI, and then by another special set of x-rays, once they knew that the structures were all stable in his neck, to make sure that uh, the motion was intact and everything was normal. Essentially, he had no significant uh, structural damage to the bony architecture of his neck or the soft tissue around his neck. Um, after the emergency room, physicians did their evaluation. A neurosurgeon also did an evaluation and reviewed all the imaging. Um, because he was going to be traveling and they felt very comfortable having him go home with the team, he was placed into a soft collar. Um, he traveled back with the team the next day. When he arrived, we brought him to the Auerbach facility where we did a full evaluation, myself and a spine uh, surgeon, Dr. Eric Karkner from the New England Baptist. Um, he reviewed the imaging and then we actually sent it to our CN, uh, cervical spine specialist at the New England Baptist, Tal Rankus. So we had our own radiologists review all the imaging as well. Um, Dr. Karkner did his evaluation separate from us so that way he could have an unbiased exam. And at that point, Kemba had no symptoms, and he was feeling really well, and he passed the, he passed the exam. Because of the nature of the injury and our concern about running headlong into Shemi, who is a solid individual, um, he had no concussion symptoms, but we went through the concussion protocol anyway. Um, and so what that meant is on Saturday, he had a full cognitive, cognitive review with Dr. Napolitano, and he passed that. On Sunday, again, he woke up, no symptoms. He went to the facility. Uh, preseason, everybody has a uh, preseason evaluation, so he, he went through the same testing in our facility. He passed that without any issue. So then he did a light exercise program, which he also passed. And then today, Dr. Hegert, I want to make sure I say her name right, Lenore, Lenore Hegert at Mass General. She is an outside physician who, special, who helps us with our concussion evaluation. We basically send the players over there, and she does a full evaluation on her own. She also does a cognitive evaluation and did a cervical spine evaluation, and she found no issues with that event. So he basically passed every aspect. The, only, the last aspect of the concussion protocol would be for him to participate in a practice, which will be tomorrow. So that brings us to tonight. So tonight, he's feeling well. He has no symptoms. Um, he, um, he really, we're just going to just get him to a full practice and then have him just continue to progress from there. Um, you know, in general, uh, it's, it's difficult to, you know, to do an initial evaluation and come up with, hey, what's going on in that instance? If somebody has that kind of mechanism, you basically want to take every precaution possible and the, uh, the Denver organization, the physicians, they did a fantastic job. Um, it always looks scary, and sometimes it ends up being, being a problem. You can't judge mechanism alone on how bad this injury is going to be. Some people have a relatively simple mechanism and they have a bad injury. Some people have what looks like it's gonna be a bad injury and they do quite well. Luckily, Kemba was in the second category. He's done very well. Um, so, you know, we're obviously extremely happy that we're in this position now, that his injury turned out to be not too significant. Um, we want everybody to understand that that's not always the case. So if you have any of these injuries, they should always be treated with the utmost precaution. And we should always make sure that, if, you know, we will always go through the exact same protocol. If something would happen tonight, you, you would see us do the exact same thing that our colleagues did out in Denver. Doctor, how bad did he want to play tonight? And when do you expect him to play again? So um, Kemba is, a, is a, um, you know, he wants to play. 
Um, we will, it's, again, we're just following our protocol. So tomorrow he'll go through a full practice and then we'll make sure that he feels well. And if he passes, he's passed all of our tests to date. So I don't expect it to be very long, but I don't know that until he actually does the full practice tomorrow. So it'll be a little premature for me just to throw out a date. Uh, Kimba, I guess, had some soreness issues during his time with Team USA this summer uh, it's relative to the neck. Did that play a, a role at, in any way, shape, or form to this injury, which we've so, deemed a so neck injury? they were completely unrelated. Steve? Okay. Uh, how much does the, him twisting his head on impact help reduce the chance of like a compression injury on the spine? Uh, I'm sorry, could you, how much does twisting? Yeah, it seemed like his head kind of twisted or turned at the impact. So, like, I, I mean, when I looked at it, it looked like he hit basically head down, straight on. He may have gone one way or the other. Um, it, you know, it, it's a very difficult thing to answer only because there's so many factors that play a role in it. Speed, you know, the, uh, he hit Shemi, who again is very solid, so hitting a solid object. Um, it doesn't have to look bad to be bad, and, and so it's just, there are just too many moving parts. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I get Brad. Yeah. Is there any chance of reoccurrence or further neck injuries or is he more susceptible to neck injuries going forward? So structurally, every test we did was fine. So he's the same as he was before. Okay. Do you think we should start 